Today I'm going to be testing my one rep max after doing a 13 week training program and taking a couple months, actually more than a couple months, I would say almost a year off from pretty much really heavy powerlifting because I needed to work on my mobility, I needed to start focusing on getting my mechanics better, I wanted to focus on that and now I have run a 13 week program, it's come to the end, it's time to test. I'm probably not going to set any PRs today. So if I have the same strength right now as I did two years ago, but my mobility and my mechanics are better, I'll be much happier because I know that in the long run, I'll put myself in a better position, less injuries, better chance to increase performance output, and that's the whole point of powerlifting. Anyway, taking my pre-workout here, grind, and I'm going to open another one show you guys how these are packaged, okay? They have these nice plastic wrappers over the top. These are all manufactured right here in the United States. They're actually made in a NSF registered uh, certified good manufacturing practices laboratory here in Long Island. And they are damn good. So let's open this bad boy. Okay. And here is grind, right? Let's open up the top. Now I wanted to do a quick, easy to peel off release sealant at the top because you know half the time you're trying to peel off the ones that are glued on that you can't even freaking peel off and you end up with half of the actual white wrapper in the actual product. So I wanted to, this is uh, actually called a lift and peel. It's a trademarked uh, topper for the top of this sealant here. So you literally just lift it and you pull it off and look, none of that glue shitty residue comes with it, okay? So when manufacturing and designing this product, um, even creating something like this was something that I looked into because I wanted it to be the best that it could be. And simple. Anyway, the scooper is always at the top because it's a long ass scooper and it kind of has to be. It's the length of the bottle pretty much, okay? And here's the scooper. So I'm going to just put one more half scoop in here because there was not a full serving in the rest of this empty bottle here. So we're just going to... Get a little bit of a half scoop in there. Put that in the vortex. And guys, I get this question all the time. People email me this question. They say, I love, I love grind, I love the pre-workout, but I can't get the scooper back in because they're trying to put it in like this. And it's I don't I, it just kind of hurts my brain a little bit because I mean all you gotta do is flip it around and slide it in. Voila! I mean, come on. It kind of scares me that you guys couldn't figure that out yourself and you had to email me that. So please, think a little bit before you send out an email like that. You know they say there's no such thing as a stupid question? That's a load of shit. There is plenty of stupid ass questions. That bad boy is spinning, look at that blue. That blue. This is the ice blue raspberry lemonade flavor. Absolutely delicious. About to down this bad boy and go in the gym and do my mock meat. I'm excited, I'm nervous. Fuck it, let's do it. Down the hatch, baby. Gets in the mustache. Increases anabolism in the mustache. So just embrace that it goes in the mustache fibers. And it might help your mustache grow. No, I'm just completely fucking full of shit. It will not help your mustache grow. If you can't grow one, it's genetic, I'm sorry. You're just not gonna be able to grow a mustache. All right, it's time to lift some shit. This is just my last warm up with squats. This is 385 pounds. This felt really easy. I was feeling really confident after hitting this warm-up set. Everything's looking good, feeling good, and I have not had over 400 pounds on my back in over a year. So this is gonna be my first time doing a one rep max with 405. This is my first attempt. 405 opener. Watch this one fly up. I felt like I could have done five to six reps with this weight. It felt so fucking easy, and I was so damn excited to get underneath that heavy weight again and just feel good. Here's my second attempt. This is 425 pounds. This felt just a little bit harder than the 405, but uh, I knew I had a big, uh, a big squat coming into this. So uh, check this one out. Beautiful. Felt nice and easy. Not too crazy. 425. Now that is my PR at that point. I've never squatted more than 425. Uh, my last competition that was a PR, and that was my third attempt in my uh, last competition. This would be a PR for squats, an all-time PR, 445. My third and last attempt on the squat. I was really excited for this set, super pumped up. 
and I fucking smoked it. I felt like I had another 30 to 40 pounds in me on the squat, so that's awesome. Moving on to the bench press, I opened what I opened with in my um, last competition, 265. The only difference is that I smoked it, it felt real easy, no problem. This is 275. That is the fastest uh, I think I've ever moved 275, and this is my third attempt with 285, and I just missed locking it out. I'm not too upset about it because I've been working really hard on fixing that brachialis issue that I have on my left arm. And uh, for 275 to feel like that, I'm pretty happy. This is a 500 pound opener on deadlift. First attempt. Smoke that bad boy. And yes, I'm using straps only because my fucking thumbs were literally bleeding before this. So there was no point in ripping them open. I know I could hold this weight. And anyone that says, oh, it doesn't count because I'm using straps, you could suck my dick. Here's my last one, 530, to finish with a 1250 total. Yeah. No? What talking about? Nice, babe. Fucking awesome. Killed it. It's the look of death. Fuck! My eyes are crossed. <laughs> I'm so happy I got it. Bang, bang. New PR total for all three lifts. How? I haven't done one fucking rep maxes. Any testing in over a year. <sighs> Sorry, so, total, what, 1250? 1250. <sighs> I'll take it. Only gonna improve from here. Keep working. Keep working on my mobility. Bye. Keep working on everything. That last deadlift was sloppy, but it came up. I'm happy you got it. Oh, I needed to focus. Oh, oh Jesus, I'm so happy I got that. Yeah.